Well guys, welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper, and we've been having just a lot of issues on this side of the camera lately. The family's fine, we're all in health. It's just the camera's been malfunctioning, my computer's been acted up, I haven't uploaded a video in a couple days. Um, man, if you guys have any words of encouragement, just to kind of, I get easily discouraged. So if you got any words of encouragement, feel free to leave them now, even if it's just a hang in there, buddy, or, Go get them, tiger. Or you can choose your own, of course. But at the moment, I'm putting together a bunch of junk. See, I had one of these I think I got at a garage sale. And what you do is you clip that on a fish's tail, and there's supposed to be a nice long board over here, and then you can fillet up your fish. Problem is, it's only panfish compatible right now because one of the children stepped on it. Now around here, trust me, we like fishing. marriage I even taught my wife when the fridge and the wallet get empty at the same time it's time to go fishing you better go find yourself some food in fact we might even go do a little fishing later on tonight but at the moment I'm gonna upgrade this and thankfully I have a number of things that may help me do it I want something to mount this to so that's what I'm gonna try to do let's take a peek One thing is all this. It's kind of been smashed into, so it's not exactly a rectangle anymore, but it's some sort of angle. That one's not really attached anymore. It's big, it's tough. It should be able to do what I want it to do. And on the bright side, it's about 24 inches across. That's gonna help. And we've been getting a lot of gifts around here lately, some amazing things I want to share off in a video um, between Chad and Monica, between Mr. Greg, um, some of our other people we know. They even gave us a bunch of these that we were able to pick up at a, a subscriber's house a little bit ago. And uh, I think we're going to put our first one to use in this project. 
It's also an amount of this metal that I have available. These I've already cut and pre-drilled just to make my life a little easier for the video. There's a lot of horrible noises that can be made when you're uh, drilling through metal and I figured I would spare you guys that. So I got them right up ahead of time just like they would on a cooking show. But we ain't cooking. Cause we building. And then some of these guys, just some little angle iron support struts from an old chicken house. And uh, yeah, some places these are easy to come by. I like using them when I can. I got an idea for today. So yes, I got all that for free. And the kitchen sink. A friend of mine bought a house, he's remodeling. This was laying out in his yard. He goes, hey, you want that? And I told him, yes. So I'm finally gonna be able to put that to use. And if you look at it, Kind of a good fit. Check this out. So the plan is get a piece of that metal, mount that clamp on for the fish here, put the sink here, eventually connect it for a hose, put that pan here, which is also a good size. See, that's a good size. It's almost perfect fit. And then put another flat section over here. That's the goal. We'll see if we can get her done. If you're out there right now and you think trying to make something like that to compensate for this is a good idea, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and I'll tell you what, if I get to the end and I show you what I did and you don't like it, you can just delete that thumbs up and turn it to a thumbs down. Either way, I guess it helps the algorithm. I meant to do that. Okay, maybe not. But it's not as bad as it sounded. I think we have had a great success, but I'm not done yet. But let me show you what I got. So here's where I wanna mount that clamp. I'll put it over here to help me remember. I just gotta unscrew it from here and then screw it into there. And then look, rather than running out at the panfish length, I should be able to handle a bass. Nothing too big, not a two footer, but still something. And this, because this whole thing's been jacked up, see how that works? I may put some spacers underneath to kind of have it rest a little better, but at the moment it cannot fall out. The way I put that in there, we now have some extra things. If you saw it fall on the ground earlier, we no longer have to worry about that. Here's this little tray. That itself can pop out, or we can take another one Somebody already took another one. It's gone. Oh, I was using that as a camera stand on top of the grill. But you could put one that same size in there or put some of these in there, something else. And then, you know, here, let's say I'm actually doing some fish or some quail or something. I put my plate over here, right? Maybe I'll put a plug in that sink, put a little grate down there, clean my animals, drop them in the cold water, and rinse them off a little more, put them up here. Then you can come pick them up, put them on your plate, take them in the house. Something like that. So let's do this right now. And all I'm gonna do is unscrew it from here. Maybe drill a couple little holes, clamp it to here, and then we will be done. And also there's going to be at least three morals to this story. If you stay tuned to the end, I will share the three that I'm aware of. If you think you know what one of the morals of this story may be, feel free to leave a comment right now. What is one of the morals of this story? because there may be ones I'm not even thinking of, or you might get one of the ones that I'm thinking of right. Let me know.
Check that out guys, I got it off. You guys probably figured I would, but there it is. This plastic recycling now. I don't think I have another use for this, unless you guys got something. Let me know if you do. The, um, looks like you can't even measure on the back anymore. So I don't think I got a use for that, but I do for this. Let's get this clamp down there, and then soon, we'll have to go get some fish. At this stage, we have had a great success. Check this out. Man, I don't care who you are. If you fillet fish and you like using one of those, you would maybe like this. Now, there is something to be said for having the little grooves for the slime to go into and having a little bit of grip. This doesn't have that. So I'm really counting on this being securely fashioned to hold the fish to there for me. And if it's gonna slide off, hopefully it slides off into the sink rather than on the ground. But here we go. You know, overall, there's some nice stainless here. Stuff looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, this is mounted, that's removable, this will be mounted, and then this is mounted. So, overall not bad. And honestly, that probably turned out better than some of you were expecting. If I met your expectations, let me know. And if not, turn that thumbs up you gave me earlier into a dislike. It's okay, be honest, be honest. Now for the moral of the story. But wait, this story has more than one moral, doesn't it? What did I say? And also there's going to be at least three morals to this story. If you Three morals to the story, and that's all that I'm aware of. Let me know if there's more. Number one, okay, it doesn't have to be pretty to be functional. That's a real one. Number two, if I wanna look at something pretty, I'll look at my wife. You may have heard that before around here. And number three, use what you got. You know, this cost me nothing. It served the purpose. It's gonna, you know, up my game a bit. It's gonna be a nice cool thing too is if it's attachable for a garden hose and say I'm heading over to somebody's house, butcher chickens, do something else, I can take it with me. Just throw it on the trailer, bring it over to their house for a bit. You know, that's no problem. That's pretty cool. And then a bonus moral is kind of if you remember, I said something early on. Problem is it's only panfish compatible right now because one of the children stepped on it. One of the children stepped on it. Yes, my children stepped on that. And that's kind of just the thought about forgiveness, guys. Children are gonna break things, you're gonna break things. You may break their stuff, they may break your stuff. Forgiveness is key. Remember, if we held a grudge against everyone who ever did us any wrong, we would hate everybody by the time this is done. It's no way to live life, so I'm happy. It took some effort. Looks like my camera so far has done good. Maybe I'll even get my computer to do good and get this one uploaded. Oh, that'd be cool. It's been a struggle lately, guys. It really has. I'll go back and read all your words of encouragement you left from me earlier. And, uh, you know, if you left a comment earlier and you want to leave one now, you can join my two comment club. It's a real thing. Anyone who wants to leave multiple comments on the same video, A-OK -okay with me. We Thank you, guys. Hope this was a, a good one for you. I had a lot of good free sources here. I've got some other free source videos. I'll pop a couple up around here maybe. Some different things I did for free. And then remember too, you can also get really cheap lumber if you go directly to the sawmill. So don't forget that. Pop out.